So yesterday's escalation of violence in Kyiv and dozens of casualties uh, have been uh, escalating because the parliament failed to put a vote on the reform of the constitution that would take away some of the powers for the president. The government put forward uh, an ultimatum to free the square, which was the stronghold of the protest for the last three months, and the riot police advanced on the protesters. Overnight, there has been thousands of injured, burning tents. The main headquarters of the protest, the trade union's building, has been set on fire. Uh, the president and interior ministry says that these are the uh, extremists and some terrorist operation was underway to clear the streets. Uh, unfortunately, this is denial of a reality where the civil protest is much more wider than even a radical group of the protesters. It has been spilling over to other cities, including his stronghold in eastern Ukraine. So uh, this situation should be treated very seriously. And um, uh, the experts agree that unfortunately uh, any excessive use of violence will cause more people on the streets. And we have seen today more fresh forces from the protesters arriving to protect their space of freedom. And uh, the, it is detrimental that the solution is found at the negotiating table today immediately. It is difficult to say how far the government will go in continued use of violence, uh, but there are a few things that should happen immediately. Uh, there has to be a strong Western reaction to condemn the violence and uh, exercise some smart sanctions against the uh, backers of the regime and President Yanukovych. And also um, there has to be uh, some support given to the protesters and freedom to express their voices. So the riot police and the interior forces should uh, withdraw from the square to allow uh, continuing uh, protest uh, in a peaceful way. Thank you.